Hello and welcome back to part eight of my journey towards my Bachelor's of Science Information Technology degree from Western Governors University. So it's been a while, uh, nearly two weeks since I posted a video, so I'm really sorry about that. It's just been kind of busy, uh, but I do have some good news. In that time period, I was able to complete two more classes. So that was spreadsheets, which is C268, and introduction to geography, which is C255. So today's video is going to be all about those two classes and just give you some tips on how to pass. OK, well, let's start with spreadsheets. So um, I've used Excel quite a lot in my career. I think probably if you've worked in any kind of office environment, not just an IT job, you're going to use it for budgets or you know whatever. Um, so I was fairly comfortable with it. Um, I actually really enjoyed this course. It's funny because... Um, some people online are complaining that it's really dry and boring, and I think some people probably would find it that way, especially if you're new. Um, if you're new to Excel, definitely go for the modules because there is a lot of stuff in there. And honestly, if you don't know how to create a, a function from scratch, you're going to struggle. So please do follow, do 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 the coursework, and, you, and if you do that, you will be fine. So um, biggest tip I can give you, the pre-assessment which is a downloadable excel spreadsheet which you download to your machine it's got macros and things in it and there's a whole bunch of like questions maybe uh, 80 to 100 different questions and they're based on scenarios that they give you within the spreadsheet and you create formulas etc um, it is exactly the same as the objective assessment now i accept that the numbers are changed so it's not you know the same questions so it's the same formulas just different numbers so what i'm saying to you is as long as you can pass the pre-assessment, you're going to be golden. You really are. They give you four hours, which is a long time for any objective assessment, but um, you know you may need it. So uh, as long as you've got the objective, like I said, do the pre-assessment, feel comfortable with it, redo it over and over again until literally like you just know the different uh, function sums and you're, you're going to be absolutely fine for the final. Like I said, it is the same. Um, and like I said, I don't think that's any huge secret. Uh, my next biggest tip for you is search Reddit, particularly on Reddit. There's some really good um, discussions, including a really good link to a YouTube video, which I'm not going to post, but it's unhidden now. But it's got quite a few views, uh, but it's very, very useful. So that's about I don't want to say too much, but find that link to a video with help for the uh, and it will really break it down for you to the point where I think you'll feel very comfortable. Now, it's not going to give you the answers for the final. Don't get me wrong, but it's really going to help you with the pre-assessment part. OK, again, hope I'm not breaking any rules. There. I'm just giving you some tips on where to gather information. Uh, next up was uh, geography. Um, so favorite subject in school. So this one I was kind of looking forward to. Honestly, if there was such a thing um, and I did the pre-assessment first. I did pass, but barely got competent. But there were some areas that I needed to look at and which I did. I focused on that. So. What I liked about this particular class with Western Governors University was the instructor. Uh, this gentleman, as soon as I registered for the class, he sent me an email, actually multiple emails with tips on things to study, focus on, uh, that kind of stuff. And also he even called me, you know, like unsolicited. I didn't, I didn't ask for him to contact me and he did and just asked if there's anything he can do to help. He offered cohort, cohorts, he, these like boot camps they offered for people that, you know, basically, you know, that to help people from scratch. So I really felt like this course was the most like teacher involved I've been in so far. Not that I really needed the help, but the fact that they were really reaching out to me. So I really tip my hat to those guys. Um, I don't know if it's okay to say their names or not, but the, the professors uh, were, were excellent. Um, big tip for geography. Now, obviously it's not just American geography. So it's all well and good knowing the 50 states of the United States, but no European geography. Let me say that's really important, especially for the objective assessment. There are a number of questions about where countries are in Europe and some of the features within those countries, things like mountains and rivers and things like that. Again, don't want to give too much away, but I would say there was probably at least 10 questions about Europe in the final. So no more than just uh, America. Now you don't have to go crazy, but just know the map, know where the main countries are and you're gonna be fine. Other big things I can tell you about is uh, the material they sent me, they said 90% of the, the objective assessment is in the first eight modules. So as long as you go through each module step by step, chapter by chapter, and there's, a, uh, there's videos, um, there's tests at the end of it. And as long as you're passing those tests for the first eight, you're going to be absolutely fine. That's all I can tell you. It's it's not particularly difficult, especially if you enjoy it. Um, so let me tell you some of the key things to know. 
Know the five themes of geography. Okay, you're going to get questions around that. So that's location, place, human environment, movement and region. A big one, this is a big one, is no longitude and latitude and how to um, work those out on a map. You're going to get a lot of questions about that. You know, tell me where point A is using longitude and latitude. If you know that, you're going to score a lot of points. It's really important and understand how it works. Um, things like precise locations, know where things are. So on a map, again, to be able to plot that. Uh, know where the various lines across the earth are, like the equator, prime meridian, GMT, um, uh, where the international date line, things like that. Again, this is all in the material. You're going to be fine. Just, just, just know it. Um, there's a lot of questions on population and density and migration. Again, know that stuff. A lot of it's common sense, but, but know it and you'll be fine as well. Also, um, sorry, I'm looking at my notes here real quick. Uh, things like the different ap ap atmospheric pressure, high and low pressures, that's pretty obvious. Uh, the different um, types of uh, uh, like uh, climates, like humid, uh, semi-arid, tropical, subtropical, sub things like that. Again, it's all the material. You're going to get questions, let's say, you know, asking you to tell drop down boxes, things like that, to, to, to put like a, a location to the type of climate, that kind of question. Um Know the different biomes, so things like uh, uh, humid, tropical, semi-arid, Mediterranean, things like that. Again, it's it's in the material. It's not difficult. Again, there's a whole bunch of um, uh, study material out there, especially on Quizlet with uh, flashcards. Just know the different areas and things like that. Uh, there's quite a lot on, um, on divergent, convergent, and subduction. That's with earthquakes and volcanoes and understanding fault lines and maps and things like that and how you know locations that would be primed to volcanoes and earthquakes like i said know that kind of stuff again you're gonna get some questions on that there's also a bunch of stuff on renewable and all non-renewable resources so things like winds renewable uh, electricity uh so wind at uh, wind power uh, sorry that kind of thing um and then things like uh coal uh you know gasoline things like that, non-renewable that kind of stuff common sense really um an acid rain things like that uh and then different d human Development Index, which is HDI, which is basically understanding the difference between different countries and their poverty levels and things like that. And, and so it's really important that you know uh, basically um, what is a developed and an undeveloped country. And again, you'll get quite a lot of questions on that. So just understand the, the different countries in the world and kind of where they're at in terms of their development, first, second, third world country, that kind of thing. So that is a lot of information, but I think if you know all that, you're going to be fine. The other thing I'll ask you to do is make sure you just know US as well, just a little bit where locations are, state locations, that kind of stuff. You don't have to memorize all 50 states, but it will definitely help if you know where certain places are in, in terms of the United States. So I scored, I took the final and I on the geography and I scored um, exemplary and uh, it took me about 45 minutes. They give you two hours, 40 odd questions. Honestly, like I said, I think if you pass the pre-assessment and you're pretty comfortable with the first eight chapters, I'd go ahead and knock it out. This was, I think, one of the exams that is common sense and you could do fairly quickly. I think for me, it took me four days, maybe four or five days, and I really didn't study a lot. So um, spreadsheets took me about three days. I basically worked that holiday weekend. We had a Labor Day weekend. I basically worked Friday through Sunday and took it Sunday night. So that one took a bit longer. But both... Very doable uh, and can be turned around pretty quick. All right, so just a quick update then. So we're uh, six weeks into my particular um, term one. So if you remember, I started on August the 1st. I have 27 uh, competency hours completed now, uh, eight classes that equates to, and I have, I'm 31% through my degree plan. So at this rate, I originally planned to do this in 18 months, but I think this is probably going to look more like uh, more like a year if I keep this going. Um, I am pretty busy right now, like I think I said at the start of the video. So I'm trying to trying to fit life in with study, which is difficult. You know, work, life, family. Um, it it is a challenge. So I I feel for you out there. I know that it's not easy, and I you know, and I know I'm ticking off these pretty quickly. But trust me, I am looking for every spare minute to try to study. All right, well, that's all I have for today. Uh, my next uh, two classes I'm gonna focus on is Applied Probability and Statistics, which is my first math class, which I must admit, I'm a little nervous. Uh, and then American Politics and the US Constitution. I hear that one's a bit boring. Um, obviously being British, 
that could be difficult as well. So I might actually have to study that one. But uh, I hope to have those done by October the 1st. That's why I've agreed with my mentor. So about two weeks. So hopefully my next video will be around that time. Anyway, good luck with your studies. If anybody would like my notes on geography, I can't really share my notes on spreadsheets. I don't think I really have any, but um, I definitely can share my notes on geography. Shoot me a message. I'll be happy to share them with you. Like I said, everything's in my notes pretty comprehensive so i think if you study that you'll be fine so uh anyway all those that are starting soon good luck all those that are in midway through the, your um your exam i hope it's going well i hope these videos are useful um again take care stay safe and i will talk to you soon thank you